Hey guys, welcome back again. So in this video, let's see how to encrypt messages using our shared secret key, which we have generated using the ECDH. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use a library that is AES-256. As we can see here on the NPM page here, that is, it is called AES-256. And it is very simple to use library. So let's see how to install it. So firstly, we need to NPM install AES-256. So let's go back to VS Code. And here what I'll do, inside my terminal what I'll do, I'll npm install that library. So npm install dash dash save AES-256. And now we have already generated a key in the previous video that is using ECTH, that is the shared secret key. And if we currently run our application by using npm start, we can see the shared secret key between Alice and Bob and both the keys are same as we can see here. So now let's use that library that is AES-256. So for that what I'm going to do, I'm going to require that library that is AES-256. So like this, so const AES-256 equal to require AES-256 like this. And now to encrypt the message, what I want to do, I want to simply call it encrypted. So const encrypted equal to all firstly let's define the message here let's say const message equal to this is some random message and now i want to encrypt this message so what i'll do i'll say aes256 dot encrypt and here it takes two arguments one is the key and second is the plain text which we want to encrypt and the beauty of this library is that that even if you don't pass a 256 bit key here it will automatically convert your key to 256 using SHA-256 algorithm but since we already generated a shared key in 256 bits so it's going to use that key and it will be hashing it using the SHA-256 algorithm into 256 bit again so let's use that key here so we can use the Alice's key here that is the Alice's shared key not the public key but the Alice's shared key and then the message we want to encrypt and the message we want to encrypt is this message that is the message here that we just defined here and now what bob will do bob wants to decrypt this message that is using the same shared secret key that bob has that is called bob shared secret key he wants to decrypt this message so by some way you are going to transmit this encrypted message to bob and then when bob receives this message what bob will do bob will do something like this that const decrypted that is the decrypted message should be equal to aes two fifty six dot decrypt, and here it will again take in the key and the key. This time it would be the Bob shared secret key. So Bob shared key comma encrypted. That is the message he receives. So here we pass in encrypted, and now if we console log this decrypted here, so console log and decrypted, and now if we run this application, we'll see the decrypted message. Or let me make it more specific. So decrypted message is this message like this and let's also log the encrypted message here so it would be console log encrypted and this would be the encrypted message encrypted like this and now let's save this and as we see here that here we are console logging the two keys that is the Alice's shared secret key and the Bob shared secret key. Then we have the encrypted message and I guess it's in base64 format. So here it is this encrypted message and then finally when Bob decrypted this message we have this thing here that is this is some random message which is same as the message Alice encrypted. So this is how you use this AES-256 library. So guys that's all about this video and in the next video we'll be talking about AES and GCM. And basically GCM stands for Galloway counter mode and that is a way to authenticate your encrypted message that is Bob should be sure that that message was sent by Alice so that's what we are going to do in the next video and for that video we won't be using any libraries but we will be only depending on the crypto module that node.js provides us so guys if you have liked the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do subscribe to my channel and if you want you can support me on patreon.com I'll provide a link in the description below so thank you, bye bye, tata, take care and have a good day.